From the first spark struck by our ancestors, fire has been a constant companion in the human journey. It was a discovery that changed the course of history, providing warmth, protection, and a means to cook food. This elemental force, harnessed from nature, became a cornerstone of human civilization. As we advanced, so did our understanding and use of fire. From the simple campfires of early humans to the complex engines of the modern age, fire has driven technological progress. The internal combustion engine, for instance, revolutionized transportation, making it possible to travel vast distances quickly and efficiently. Humanity has always been enthralled by fire, not just for its utility, but also for its mesmerizing beauty. The flickering flames have inspired countless myths, legends, and even modern-day celebrations. Fireworks, for example, are a testament to our fascination with controlled explosions, lighting up the sky in a dazzling display of colors and patterns. Yet, fire is a double-edged sword. It is a force of creation and destruction, capable of both warming our homes and leveling cities. The same fire that cooks our meals can also burn down forests and homes if left unchecked. This duality makes fire both a friend and a foe, a symbol of life and a harbinger of destruction. Explosions, those sudden and violent releases of energy, are the dark side of this fiery coin. They are dramatic, often catastrophic events that capture our attention and imagination. Whether caused by natural phenomena or human activity, explosions remind us of the raw power that exists in our world. They are reminders of the raw power that exists in our world, both natural and man-made. The energy released in an explosion can be staggering, capable of causing immense damage in a matter of seconds. This raw power is both awe-inspiring and terrifying, a testament to the forces that shape our world. Explosions occur when energy, confined and compressed, suddenly finds a path to expand. This rapid expansion creates a shockwave, a wall of pressure that propagates outward at supersonic speeds. The shockwave is often accompanied by a loud noise, a flash of light, and a release of heat, all of which contribute to the destructive power of an explosion. This rapid expansion creates a shockwave, a wall of pressure that propagates outward at supersonic speeds. The shockwave can cause significant damage, shattering windows, collapsing buildings, and even causing injuries or fatalities. The speed and intensity of the shockwave are key factors in determining the overall impact of an explosion. The effects of an explosion are determined by its magnitude and proximity. A small explosion might only cause minor damage, while a large explosion can have devastating consequences. The distance from the explosion's epicenter also plays a crucial role in the extent of the damage. Those closer to the blast are more likely to experience severe effects. Small explosions, like those from fireworks, create light and sound but limited damage. These controlled explosions are designed to entertain and amaze, showcasing the beauty of fire in a safe and controlled manner. However, even small explosions can be dangerous if not handled properly, highlighting the need for caution and respect when dealing with explosive materials. Larger explosions, however, can cause widespread devastation, flattening buildings, igniting fires, and leaving scars on the landscape. The aftermath of such explosions is often a scene of chaos and destruction, with emergency responders working tirelessly to rescue survivors and contain the damage. The long-term effects can be felt for years, as communities rebuild and recover from the devastation. Throughout history, both natural and man-made explosions have shaped our world. These events have left an indelible mark on the landscape and on human society, influencing everything from geography to politics. The power of explosions to alter the course of history cannot be underestimated. Volcanic eruptions, like those witnessed at Krakatoa and Mount Vesuvius, have reshaped continents and altered the course of civilizations. The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883, for example, was one of the most powerful volcanic events in recorded history, with effects felt around the world. The explosion was so massive that it caused tsunamis, changed weather patterns, and led to a significant loss of life. Accidental explosions, often the result of human error or negligence, have served as tragic reminders of the respect required when handling volatile materials. Industrial accidents, such as the Halifax explosion in 1917, have highlighted the potential for disaster when safety protocols are not followed. These incidents underscore the importance of rigorous safety measures and constant vigilance, and the deliberate detonations of nuclear weapons have cast a long shadow over the 20th century, forever altering our understanding of warfare and the fragility of peace.
The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945 demonstrated the devastating power of nuclear weapons, leading to a new era of geopolitical tension and the concept of mutually assured destruction. In this exploration of some of the world's most destructive explosions, we will delve into the science behind these events, examining their causes, their impacts, and the lessons learned. Understanding the physics of explosions can help us mitigate their effects and prevent future catastrophes. By studying past events, we can develop better safety protocols and technologies to protect ourselves and our environment. From the frozen wastes of Siberia to the bustling harbors of Halifax and Texas City, we will journey through history, uncovering the stories behind these catastrophic events and their enduring legacies. Each explosion has a story to tell, a lesson to impart, and a legacy that continues to shape our world. Join us as we explore the physics of catastrophe and the powerful forces that have shaped our past and continue to influence our future. The year is 1908. In the remote Siberian wilderness, a cataclysmic explosion ripped through the air, flattening over 80 million trees across 830 square miles. The event, known as the Tunguska event, remains one of the most powerful explosions in recorded history estimated to be about 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Yet, despite its scale, no crater was ever found. The remote location and lack of sophisticated monitoring equipment at the time meant that the Tunguska event remained shrouded in mystery for decades. Initial theories ranged from meteor strikes to volcanic eruptions, but none could fully explain the unique patterns of destruction. Trees directly below the blast were stripped bare while those further out were knocked down in a radial pattern, pointing away from a central point above the ground. The leading theory today is that the Tunguska event was caused by an airburst, the explosion of a meteoroid or comet fragment high in the atmosphere. As the object entered the Earth's atmosphere at high speed, it heated up rapidly due to friction. This intense heat caused the object to vaporize before it could impact the ground, creating a massive fireball and a powerful shock wave. The Tunguska event serves as a stark reminder of the power of extraterrestrial impacts. While large impacts are rare, they pose a significant threat to life on Earth. The event also highlights the importance of scientific investigation, as it took decades of research and analysis to piece together the most likely explanation for this enigmatic event. In 1883, the Indonesian island of Krakatoa was home to a volcano on the brink of a cataclysmic eruption. For months, the volcano had been rumbling, spewing ash and steam into the atmosphere. Then, on August 27, the island exploded with a force rarely seen in human history. The eruption of Krakatoa was a series of four massive explosions, each more powerful than the last. The final detonation was heard thousands of miles away, the loudest sound ever recorded at the time. The shock wave from the explosion traveled around the globe seven times, and the resulting tsunamis, some reaching heights of over 100 feet, devastated coastal communities across the Indian Ocean. The eruption of Krakatoa killed an estimated 36,000 people, making it one of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in recorded history. The ash and sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere caused global temperatures to drop by an average of 1.2 degrees Celsius, 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit, for the following year, resulting in widespread crop failures and other climatic disruptions. Krakatoa stands as a monument to the devastating power of nature. The eruption taught us about the global reach of volcanic events, how they can impact climate and weather patterns far from their source. It also underscored the interconnectedness of our planet, how a single event in one corner of the world can have ripple effects that touch every continent. Section 4. The Halifax Explosion, A Harbor Vaporized the morning of December 6, 1917, dawned clear and cold in Halifax, Nova Scotia. The bustling harbor was crowded with ships, including the French munitions ship, Mont Blanc, fully laden with explosives bound for the battlefields of World War I. As the Mont Blanc made its way through the Narrows, it collided with the Norwegian vessel Emo. The impact sparked a fire aboard the Mont Blanc, igniting its volatile cargo. At 9.04 a.m., the Mont Blanc detonated in a blinding flash of light and heat, the explosion, estimated to be equivalent to 2.9 kilotons of TNT, vaporized the ship and much of the surrounding harbor. The blast wave, traveling at supersonic speeds, 
flattened buildings, uprooted trees, and created a tsunami that tossed ships like toys. The explosion was so powerful that it created a mushroom cloud that rose two miles into the air. The Halifax explosion remains the largest man-made accidental explosion in history, killing over 2,000 people and injuring an estimated 9,000 more. The explosion leveled much of the city, leaving thousands homeless and straining relief efforts. The disaster also highlighted the importance of harbor safety and the need for careful handling of dangerous materials, lessons that continue to resonate today. The Halifax explosion serves as a grim reminder of the devastation that can occur when human error and complacency intersect with the immense power of explosives. It is a story of tragedy, resilience, and the enduring human spirit in the face of unimaginable destruction. Section 5. The Texas City Disaster. When Fire Engulfed the Sea. In the spring of 1947, the port of Texas City, Texas, was a hub of activity. Ships arrived and departed daily, carrying goods to support the post-war economic boom. Among them was the French cargo ship Grand Camp, carrying a deadly cargo, 2,300 tons of ammonium nitrate fertilizer. On the morning of April 16th, a fire broke out in the Grand Camp's cargo hold. As firefighters battled the blaze, unaware of the volatile nature of the ammonium nitrate, the heat intensified, reaching a critical point. At 9.12 a.m., the Grand Camp exploded in a thunderous roar that shook the ground for miles. The explosion of the Grand Camp triggered a chain reaction, igniting other ships in the harbor, including the High Flyer, which was loaded with sulfur. The resulting fires raged for days, engulfing the waterfront and sending a thick plume of smoke that could be seen for hundreds of miles. The Texas City disaster claimed the lives of at least 581 people, making it the deadliest industrial accident in American history. The explosion leveled over 1,000 buildings, causing millions of dollars in damage. The disaster led to significant changes in safety regulations for the handling and storage of ammonium nitrate, a chemical compound that remains widely used today.